greet the person by your right and your left. Today is the first main service. Last week was Thanksgiving. This is the first main service of the year. Let's salute each other. Let's greet each other. Let's welcome each other. As the, where did you go during Christmas? How was your Christmas celebration? Were you in Nigeria or in Canada? Or in London? A time is going to come. Christmas time, when we break like this, say, where are you going? Say, me, I'm going to Dubai. Me, I'm going to America. Me, I'm going to London. Me, I'm going to Japan. I'm going to, China. I'm going to South Africa. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. If you know I'm talking to you, your amen will show it. The Lord bless you. Amen. The team for this anointing service, like we know, is a supernatural triumph. Usually, the team of the year is handled in the first month of the year so that we can pray it in. Let it sink in. Teach on it. Pray with it. And then begin to war with it as we go along. It is a year of supernatural triumph. Whether the devil likes it or not, there's somebody who will be triumphant this year. Amen. It will come to pass in your life. Amen. Amen. But today, we will be talking about triumphing in evangelism. Triumphing in uh, what? How many of us are taking time to look at the prophecy for the year? How many of us? The rest of us, uncle, we don't pass them. We jump pass. We jump. May the blessings not jump past you too. They are, these are prophecies given to you. Don't you mean of prophecies? It's like I should teach you on this prophecy one of these days. Prophecy is the mind of God concerning you for a period of time or for, or for, or forever, whatever. It's the mind of God. It's like me coming to you and say, this and this and this and this and what I will do for you this year and then you forget. You are not asking me. You are not relating with me about it. You are not talking to me about it. Me too. If you forget, what about me? I will forget. It is for you to, for us to go back. Compa I mean, these prophecies are compasses to direct our ways this year. Sometimes it is in the prophecy, the key that will open the door of greatness to you this year is hidden there. It's for you to locate and say, this one, this and this and this and this and this. I walk, okay, this and this. And what I will, I will begin to do to achieve this. Go back and read them all. Well, I start studying them, not just read, study them. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. But before we go into triumphing in evangelism, we want to look at what does it mean to triumph. Our text is taken, let me just read our text first. It's taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, 14 to 17. Hallelujah. I want, to, I want to use another version to read it. In King James, you cannot. Uh, it's good though, but uh, sometimes you need to leave King James alone. Praise the Lord. Though. <laughs> so that you can understand what God is telling you. Because if you don't understand what God is telling you, how will you obey? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 to the end. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 to the end. Say, but thanks, thank God. He has made us his captive, that's God, and continue to lead us along in Christ's triumphal or triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere. What's the meaning of that? This is the scripture he gave us. Oh. Please turn my back. Me, I, I need. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Like a sweet perfume, he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere. Say, thanks be to God. No, are you, okay, can you just say, for, which one are you reading? Verse 14, please. Now, thanks be to God, 
which always causes us to triumph in Christ and make him manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place, everywhere we go, the, the perfume, the savour of God oozes out. Spreading the good news of Jesus Christ everywhere. Amen. Our lives are like Christ-like, are like a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God. But his fragrance is perceived differently by those who are being saved and by those who are perishing. When you are a child of God and you are talking about Jesus in the midst of, in the midst of bread, but anywhere we are, whether in the midst of believers or in the midst of unbelievers, the fragrance of Christ should go out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No, verse 16. To those who are perishing, that's the unbelievers, we are dreadful smell of death and doom. You go and start telling people about uh, rapture, talk about uh, great tribulation, talk about Amagadon. <laughs> they won't listen to you. I better go carry on this your story. Go, what will it happen? What will it happen? That's the truth. But to those who are saved, we are life we are life giving perfumes life giving perfumes amen and who is adequate for such a task as this you see or you see we are like we are not like the many hogsters who preach for personal profit we are not preaching for gain we have nobody to fear we preach the word of god with sincerity and with christ's authority knowing that God is watching us. How many of us remember that God is taking cognizance of what you are doing? You believe it. So, we, this is our text for this year. This is our, our scripture for this year. Already telling us. And you know, the, that one came, that word came long before, before we, 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 we vacated. I've already told us, I think, after the convention. Was it after the convention? After the convention of the anointing service of December, I told us this was the word. By that time, prophecy have not come. When that prophecy came, one number says aggressive and aggressive evangelism this year. I wish you go out, tell people that are mine to go and compel men to come to me. May the Lord give us a listening ears in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Anyway, I just want you to see how it is related to evangelism. We look at Friday. What are we talking about? Trying? We're talking about evangelism. I will, will explain more of that later. But let's just go on. What does it mean? When we talk about a triumph, it means a condition of having victory. A condition of victory. Be victorious, triumphant, winning over a contest. Winning over a contest. That you have won, that means you are triumphant. You have victory. You have won. You succeeded. It means to make a significant success. To triumph means to make a significant success. A noteworthy, a noteworthy achievement. Noteworthy achievement. It means to prevail. To prevail. To conquer an opponent. To prevail, to conquer an opponent in a landslide victory, to prevail over another. That's why this year I decree and declare we shall all prevail. Yeah. I say we shall all achieve great things. Yeah. We shall have significant successes. Yeah. We shall win in every contest, every battle. We shall be successful yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But God wants us to begin like this. Tomorrow's topic is different. Tomorrow's topic is different. But today it is, it is triumphing in evangelism. Hallelujah. Yeah. This word triumph, triumph is uh, something like this. It's explained in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. Can I have it on the screen, please? 1 Corinthians 15, 57. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Say, 1 Corinthians 15, 15, 57, 1 Corinthians. Ah, these people now, what? Okay, I think I better help myself. Yeah. 
57 says. Okay, let me read 55 to 57. Say, oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? I decree and declare from this year, death will have no power over you and I. Grave will have no victory over us. That the sting of death is sin, and the sting of sin is law is the law. But thanks be to God, we give it us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. In other words, thanks be to God that gives us the triumph through our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. You know that what I'm trying to say. Why did I bring up this passage? There are things that will lose their potency this year concerning one hour. For example, death. For example, sickness. For example, evil arrow. For example, affliction. For example, failure, deceit, poverty, wretchedness, negativity, hard luck, struggling, toiling. They will lose their power. What? Jesus is here that caused us to do what? To triumph. Praise the Lord. Brethren, so winning. It's very, very important we understand that so winning is, the, is one of the off, uh, foremost way we can demonstrate victory over Satan. So winning is one of the foremost way victory over darkness can be demonstrated. You ask me how? You ask me how? Just by me preaching the gospel to somebody, we have seen Baba Lawo turn to Jesus. Suddenly, just take a U-turn. Say, I know, I not do again. Recently, I, it was uh, one of the videos they posted. I did this Christmas time. Of somebody who was always running to Babalawo, running to Babalawo, running to Babalawo, and uh, the the person was not trying to kill an evangelist in the town. Was trying to kill, use power of that Babalawo to kill that if I go to Babalawo to ask for power then to kill that evangelist it's always disturbing him disturbing him and then one day the evangelist was going about his normal duty and preaching the gospel and he came across Babalawo and preached the gospel of Jesus Christ to Babalawo and told Babalawo how useless his power was and the Babalawo surrendered to Jesus amen only for the man <laughs> he had a counter with the evangelist the evangelist, go and live, go and sleep. You can't do nothing. I, I, it's me that will deal with you. If you're not careful, you will die. This and that. So he ran to Babalawo's house and met evangelists there. And my Babalawo kneeled down before the evangelist for prayer. I see those who are running after your destiny. I see them bowing before you. I said, Babalawo, what are you doing with this man? Said, ah, no, I've given my life to Jesus. So beg, carry your own while I go somewhere. I'll not do it again. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So evangelism is one of the greatest ways you can demonstrate the power of God, the power of the gospel. I'm Robert, turn it to Jesus. Terrible people, people that you told, killers, turn it to Jesus. Which other power can do that one? This year, do you know it takes power to conquer? Do you know it takes power to conquer? I'm talking to you. It takes power to triumph. Praise the Lord. I don't know what, where this hair is coming from. It's stopping me. Praise the Lord. It takes power to triumph. And if you want to experience power this year, I am showing you the way, the fastest way to have access to power is through evangelism. There are scriptures we quote in the Bible. Let's look at main scriptures first. Let's look at the main scriptures first. Matthew chapter 28, 18 to 20. Matthew 28, I think I better do myself. One of good. If you are ready, I will read. If not, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Okay. Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given me, or unto me, in heaven and on earth. Go ahead. Go ye therefore, ah, uh ah. -uh. All power. This say, go and gather the sick, bring them, let me heal them. All power has been given unto me. 
It didn't say, oh, go and bring out those that are deaf, that are blind, that are lame. Let me demonstrate the power. Yes, of course, he, you, know, he, you know he went about doing good healing. But he's making a very profound statement. All power has been given to me. And the first thing he will ask you to do is to go, go and do what? Preach. Go and preach the gospel. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know it takes the presence of God for you to triumph? The reason I prayed, uh, 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 what they call it, this morning, good morning Jesus, I, I had time, so I, I prepared good morning Jesus, I was talking about how uh, the children of Israel had a landslide victory over five kings. Over five kings. Five or four kings got down together with all the army to come and fight against the little Israel. And God from heaven was fighting their battles for them. Why? God was in their midst. If God is with you, you can never fail this year. If God is with you, you will not fail this year. And one of the places God says, Lo, I am with you, is where? In evangelism. Am I talking to somebody? Praise the Lord. Mark chapter 16. Mark chapter 16. From verse 15. Verse 16, 15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be done. And these signs, this is what we are all looking for. Signs, miracles, signs, wonders, healing, deliverance, provision. He said these signs shall follow them that believe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I did see here. I said praise the Lord. Better. He said in my name. They shall cast out devils. Every demon tormenting your life and land. By the name of Jesus Christ, I command them out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. They did as he said. Listen. Verse 20. They went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord, doing do what? Walking with them. And confirming the world with what? Signs following. Walking with them. This year, if you really want to see triumph, number one, you must have access to power. You want to triumph this year? You must have access to power. Number two, the Lord, must, you must walk in the presence of God. God must walk with you this year. He said to Moses, go to Egypt. Go and set my people free. Moses said, you know I'm a star mother. He said, I will go with you. Did he go with him or not? Was Moses able to deliver the people or not? His presence gave triumph. Everything Moses commanded came to pass Because the presence of God was with him in Egypt. This year, we want to triumph. Let us take heed to what God is saying. Let's take it to what God is saying. Let's listen. And we will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. I say we will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. We quote some scriptures all the time. She quoted one of them. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. And ye shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And then you shall be what? Today in a while, get us in I command every power in the air disappear in the name of Jesus. Power holding response. Why making people looking? Look at me. I'm not res respond. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Behold, I give unto you what? Power. Oh, sorry, no. Yeah, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses. How come it time he mentioned power? The next thing that follows what? Witnessing. Preaching the gospel. You shall be witnesses to me. Both in Jerusalem, 
in Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost part of the earth. Why? Because evangelism or soul winning is the easiest way to demonstrate the power of God. That is where you see God's power roll. That's where you see manifestation. You wonder, what have I told these people now? I, there was an, there's an evangelism we went for. I can't forget it. We went to my former church side, uh, Maji Agbe side. People were not too many outside, out there we could talk to. I can't remember who went with me that day. We saw some guys coming, about four or five of them. Young boys, I would say, and we preached. Three of them gave their life to Christ. It was like everybody we met that day surrendered to Jesus. Brethren, the harvest truly is plenteous. The laborers are few. Bible says, say not ye, there are yet four months. And then come and have it. He said, but lift up your eyes and look into the field. They are white, all ready to harvest. There's power that goes forth when you are doing evangelism. And when you begin to do, when you, are, you concentrate and you really do evangelism, I can bet you, you will begin to manifest power. Because when you are going, let's see what he told them. Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10. Let's see what Jesus told them. Is it 10 or 9 now? Whichever one. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 9, verse, verse 1 and 2. Then he called the 12 disciples together and gave them power and what? Authority over what? Devils. And to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the, the kingdom of God and to do what? To heal the sick. In other words, each time it's evangelist time, power go with you. He will send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Wolves will swallow us up. So each time it's time to go out, what does it do? He releases power. To heal the sick, to bind the devil, cast him out, and to deliver the oppressed. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about? What was his primary assignment in going about? Huh? What was the primary assignment Jesus Christ went about for? Let's go and preach the gospel. Repent for the kingdom of, her, of God is at hand. That was his message. And the cause of preaching the gospel, he began to do good. Healing the sick. And deliver them that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him. I see God going with you this year. Yeah. Hey, the amen. Because it's gospel now. The amen. Yeah. Oh, that. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of us know that the scripture we quote in Luke chapter 10 comes from, came from evangelism? Chapter 9, he sent them out. Chapter 10, he empowered them the more. And they sent them out. And they went. And they saw the manifestation of power. Sickness will not dwell in your body this year. You can't carry healing power to go and heal people out there. And then you, the same power will heal you. Is that not so? You lay hand upon your head and sickness is gone. Am I talking to somebody? You can't command powers of oppressing people to go. And then you stay under oppression. The same power. Right inside the office, I started feeling woo 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 in my ear. Praise the Lord in my ears. I, I did like this. I did like this. <laughs> it was sitting there. Remember, mommy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said, God wants to heal somebody of ear. Because it's not my portion. Mm -mm. You're not going to stay there. I said, somebody, God wants to heal somebody of ears. I said, as I was talking, she said, ah, mommy, it's me, it's me, it's me. My ears like that, my ears like that. I said, okay, lay hands, and I prayed. After prayer, I asked her, is this still there? What did he say? She said, no. 
I said, there's still somebody that needs to be healed in the congregation because I am still feeling my own. But as, as we're there, praise worship was going on, it disappeared. Fiam. I decree and declare the power that will make your body whole, the power that will set you free from oppression, the power that will deliver you from the hands of wickedness is released through this now. It will manifest more when you go out for evangelism. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That scripture we quote, Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 19. Let's read it. Luke 10, 17 to 19. 17 says, and the 70, this was the people he sent in chapter 9, verse 1. Send the disciples, send 70 out. Chapter 10, verse 1, sorry. After these things, the Lord appointed other 70, 70 also and send them two by two before his face to every city and place whither he himself would come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then verse 70 says, and the 70 returned. You will return with testimony. The 70 returned again with joy. No sorrow, with joy. Are you seeing the benefit of evangelism now? They return with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. We are, I saw, we are dealing with devils. Look at what Jesus Christ said, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Hey, you want to subdue darkness this year? Let's take a step of faith and go for evangelism. I see Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He said, behold, I give unto you what? To tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the paths of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means do what? Hurt you. This scripture came by reason of people who obeyed the injunction of evangelism. Are you being tormented? Are you being afflicted? Are you being attacked? Are you facing one crisis or the other? Please don't let that stop you. Go forth. Let's, let's go out and preach the gospel this year. Let's spend time preaching the gospel this year. I tell you, you won't know when those problems will vanish away. Ah, I can't hear your amen. Yeah. You won't know when those problems will vanish away. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So the power we have been given is to heal, to save, to deliver, to get well, to, 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 to set your press, op, op press free. Power for anything. Nothing happens without power. That's the truth. Nothing happens without power. Change your circumstances in this power. It takes power to change circumstances. It takes power to get wealth. It takes power to get connection. It takes the anointing, the anointing to break yokes and take away the power of oppression. We need that power. And that power is available to us on the platform of evangelism. Shall we rise to our feet? Let's rise to our feet. As you go out for give yourself to evangelism this year, you begin to experience unprecedented supernatural power of God working naturally with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to talk to God and say, Father, say, Father, this year we are in for evangelism. This year we are making up our mind, oh God, to preach the gospel. I'm not saying we must come and go out together for evangelism. You can, you can do it in your place of work. You can do it in your market environment. You can do it anywhere. If we create a platform, it's to help some of us who will never get up by yourself at home. It's to help us. Evangelism, as you are going home right now, you can win two, three souls before you get to your house. It can be done anywhere at any time. Lift up your voice and say, Father. Say, Father. I connect your power for evangelism 2023. I connect your power to heal, to save, to deliver through evangelism this year 2023. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Masaka yendele bobo, eka saka cha cha cha, lika sandara baba. Many of us, all the prayer points we are praying that are not happening. If you call the culture evangelism, who knows? Who knows? God in His mercy will reach out. The power of evangelism can settle you. It can settle you. It can settle you. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. Say this year, Lord. This year, Lord, I receive power. 
I receive strength. I receive grace for this evangelism. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We receive power. We receive power. We receive power. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm going to pray. In this year of supernatural triumph, I will triumph over every situation. Yeah. By reason of the power I'm tapping into, I will triumph. Lift up your voice and call upon heaven. Say, Father, as I tap into this power, I will triumph. I will triumph. I will, oh God, conquer. I will conquer. I will succeed. Last slight victory. In the name of Jesus, I will achieve great things this year. By reason of this power, by reason of this power, I will triumph. I will triumph in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Evangelism is the most fought. Fought. The devil will fight evangelism. The most fought assignment of heaven. Yes, it fights against healing, fight against deliverance, fight against but evangelism. Why? Who can tell us? Evangelism relocates people from hell to heaven. Simple. He will fight it. He can fight with the people, he can fight you with the people you want to deliver. Tell me, we don't have to have all this kind of story, sorry. And I don't start, I don't get work. Come to come and disturb us this afternoon. <laughs> Meanwhile, now then you want the lead, now then you are, you are praying for deliverance. So he can fight you. He can use your own situations around you to tie you down. Yeah, I don't go fit. I don't go fit. I have pro this issue. Let, I said this all this problem. This problem. This problem. You, your eyes is off evangelism. He can fight you to any man, I mean, but let's say handle him. Say, Father. Father. Why is your voice so far away? Bill, I say we took chop rice this holiday. <laughs> you know when you eat too much oil, fry, fry, fry meat, fry chicken, fry this, fry that. In their fed voice. Somebody say, Father, by the power in the name of Jesus, we subdue all power against all winning. We subdue them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We subdue all powers. We subdue all powers. We subdue all powers. We subdue all powers. Fighting against soul winning. Fighting against evangelism. We subdue them in the name of Jesus. We subdue them in the name of Jesus. We subdue them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. See somebody doing like this. What's wrong with your back? It's like pain here. Who is that person? Put your hand there. Thank you, Jesus. I cost those pains. I cost those pains. Wherever they are, power is being released here because, because of evangelism. Power is being released on this. I decree that part of God for right now to bring healing to your body. Straight to your bones. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever pain is hiding, I command you expire now. Pain is expire now. In the name of Jesus. Well, is anybody here having any EIT? EIT. Because mine has disappeared, but if you're <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mom, is this still there? Somehow. It's going back. It will go now. Any other person, put your hand there. Put your hand there. Stand upon the word of God and rebuke every demon. That thing can be very terrible. Oh, po, 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 po. Water no enter my. You know those days when we they, we they swim for river, water go enter your ear. They do like that, but no reason. It just started. I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it, you satanic agent, out of our bodies. You cannot hide anywhere. I come against you. I come against you. Out in the name of Jesus. Anybody that is sick here, just lift your hand. If you are sick, put your hand wherever your, your the sickness is. The time has come. I told God this year, every service will be a revival of healing. 
that a child will come. We say, well, if anybody is sick here, I say, nobody. Nobody. It will happen. If you are sick, put your hand there. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come against every spirit of affliction. You spirit of infirmity, I come against you in the name of Jesus. I curse you right now. Out! Out of our bodies. Wherever you are hiding from the skin of our head to the sole of our feet, through the tips of our fingers, wherever you are hiding this body, I sentence you out. I declare healing. Healing. Healing upon your head, upon your eyes, upon your ears, upon your neck, upon your back, upon your stomach, your chest, upon your legs, every part of your body. Receive healing now in the name of Jesus. You are healed. I declare, I say you are healed. Before you get home, you discover some of you will, will see that it's over here. But before you get home, nobody will not feel anything anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Daddy, we bless your holy name. We give you all the praise and glory. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands to receive the power for evangelism now. Masika tala Baba Seka. Bible says, called them to himself and gave them power over unclean spirits. He gave them power over unclean spirits. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, the God that brought us together today is releasing power over unclean spirits. Power over sicknesses, over diseases, over lack, over water penury. Over poverty. In the name of Jesus. As you go for this power will manifest. As it's manifesting in you. It will be manifesting through you. If you believe it shout a louder amen. Shout the loudest hallelujah.